We seem to have everyone. Status reports. Internal security remains solid. I've caught two Republic spies since Osis. Both were disguised as cargo pilots seeking work. Unfortunately, they fled before they could be caught and interrogated about their specific objectives. The next time you find a spy, I want them caught. Understood. Of course, Commander. My assets have brought in solid intel from all of the major battles along the front lines. I'll keep forwarding everything to Baywan for analysis. My people are using that intel to create new write-ups for the major field commanders on both sides. Should help us predict strategic probabilities going forward. Until we get a specific request for aid, I've deployed our fleet in a defensive posture around Odessan. Getting Paxton ships in the mix has helped expand our patrols. I never know exactly where they're going to patrol, but they're doing solid work for us. There's, uh, one other matter we should discuss, now that you're aligned with the Empire again. We've accomplished a lot here. I'm proud to have worked under your command. We've made the galaxy a better place. But I'm also proud of my past. I served the Republic for years. I can't fight them, so I'm retiring. I've recommended a replacement, Commodore Pardax. Ex-Imperial, very sharp, she'll serve you well. Lana's already vetted her, and I'll stick around long enough to get her up to speed. You've been a huge help to our Alliance, Baywan. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for taking a chance on me. Nothing so dramatic occurring in our science lab. Improvements to Odessan's planetary shields have been successfully completed. All right. Hilo? We've had to step up security for my crews. Piracy is becoming a bigger problem on their runs. Lucky for us, you're friends with Mandalore. Now that word's spread that her people are riding along, nobody messes with our transports. Good to hear. Anything else? Sana Ray is touring the reconstruction efforts on Vos, so I believe we're finished. That's all I have. Good work, everyone. There was one final matter for you. Lord Izar, a representative of the Imperial Outreach Division, has asked to speak with you. I've loaded his frequency into your holocom. Thought we could use a moment alone. I have to admit it's weird fighting against the Republic. Probably should have seen a day like this coming. Somehow I just never did. I get it. They've never once had your back over the years. Suresh brought out the worst of them. Even so, I need to know you're in this to win a war, not to crush my old home into dust. I can do better than that. What do you mean? I'm going to help the Republic win from inside the Empire. I'm a double agent. You're sure that's a road you want to walk down? I mean, you saw how it went for me. Don't get me wrong, I'm behind you all the way. I just hope you're ready. Does Lana know? She does. No one else, though. My lips are sealed. Well, I better get out of here and act casual. I'll see you later. Greetings, Commander. So good of you to contact me. How can I help you, exactly? I serve within the Imperial Outreach Division. Specifically, I seek out opportunities to inspire greatness among our noble frontline soldiers. Darth Krovos is giving a speech to our forces gathered at Viking Space Dock in preparation for their deployment. This could be an opportunity to say a few words of your own. Your actions have made you a living legend, after all. Certainty of victory inspires confidence. Hearing that you are out there fighting the same fight they are will undoubtedly instill that confidence in our troops. Fine, but this had better be fast. Oh, even a handful of words from a decorated hero such as yourself will carry great weight. We shall await your arrival with bated breath. Safe travels. Jonas, are you aware of this rally for Imperial troops on Viking Space Dock? I've heard about it. Sounds like a great opportunity for you to shake their confidence a bit. No need to risk your cover or anything. Just get them to second guess whether they can win, and stress will do the rest. Let me know if they have decent drinks. 
I might just sneak in myself. Perfect timing, Commander. Darth Krovos is just finishing up. Follow me. I can sense the strength in each and every one of you. The passion for victory, and the power to achieve it. At the muzzles of your blasters, at the points of your blades, our ancient enemies shall finally be destroyed. For the Empire! We meet again. Zasha and her family send their regards. With your alliance fighting alongside the Empire, victory is within our grasp. Assuming we will succeed is an excellent way to ensure that we fail. Your caution does you credit. They're all yours. Together we are marching back to war. To fight the Republic. To win! We all know this isn't the first time. We've all had friends or family who have marched this same path and never returned. We've spilled a lot of blood trying to beat the Republic over the years. Lost many lives. But I look at all of you and I see soldiers, warriors, who won't let any of those losses slow them down. We can't give up now. We won't. Empire, 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 Empire. Uh, th thank you, Commander. To your ships and to victory. Uh, thank you for your time, Commander. Very, very enlightening. Let's just step this way. Nice job. Especially that ending. Wow. They definitely did not leave full of confidence. Well done.